Well, let's go. I'm sorry I'm late. Whatever you want to call it. I'm used to it. No big deal. In my ass. My tongue feels like you hit it with a weed eater. <laughs> what happened there? <clears throat> I was mad about the headlights <clears throat> and I had forgot about the coffee being just poured. And that's just 10 minutes ago. Mm. And I just reached down to get a big old gulp and ended up spewing it all over the dash and in the floor. Like, I mean, it's literally on fire right now. It's going to be scalded for about a week now. Mm. It ain't good, boy. Mm. Not much good this morning. It's raining. Mm -hmm. It didn't bad, though. You know what? It's not bad. Did you hear last night? Woke me up. Pretty bad, wasn't it? Think it did these turkeys? That doesn't matter. I'm there, they ain't gonna be there anyway. The band's back together at least for a temporary stint. Chubbs is in a foul mood. I am. Yep. It's raining. My tongue is on fire. He burned his tongue on the coffee and his headlights didn't work in his truck this morning when he got in, so I just had to go pick him up. What if that would have happened coming home or something? That would have been real bad. Mm. Mm. Alright, we got to do some I think everybody in the world from. killed a turkey yesterday except for me and I killed a tree. <laughs> Unless you got to play the game. I've been doing good though, man. I've been shooting good this year. Chubbs has been in South Carolina. Where he killed a tree yesterday morning. Nice tree. Send me a picture of it. Nice. Real nice tree. We'll try to get the, uh, try, try to bring something to you this morning. Not sure what. I'm to bring something to you. It's like somebody flipped a light switch. Now the wind is freaking howling. like that stop at about that second pine tree right there. Didn't go anywhere. It hit that other one. I heard it say. <laughs> We're gonna loop around and fall off what should be the downwind side of one of these ridges. See if I can help us here a little bit. We didn't plan for that because it wasn't blowing this morning when we were on our way in. But literally, when it got daylight, it was like somebody flipped a light switch and it started to just started gusting and it ain't stopped. When you call, you better put a little of that double cheeseburger behind it. Baconator yesterday. <laughs> I'm just gonna start blowing the hell out of it. Blow it.
We got a hand started over here. Creek runs right straight up through there. She's still in the roost, didn't she? I don't know. Ain't nothing hit it, has it? Hmm? Ain't nothing hit it, not that I've heard. He's probably down there with it. Mm hmm. I'm ready to go, you. I thought you going to call us hen in here so we can get Man, some of this hen footage. I couldn't call a domestic turkey up right now. These truck rides can Don't be paid. Huh? There's a couple things I can guarantee you. No, I've got some pipes. You're not going to be a runway model and you're not going to be a, a singer. You're not going to be a bad son I'd never claim to be. See drop coffee on you. <laughs> Just saw that. We're going turkey hunting. For a little bit at least. Well, it took about a real tree furniture set or something. It's a big ass stomp, isn't it? Good to stomp? That's what it looks like. I thought it was a couch. It looks like a couch, but I think it's a piece of wood. I pull him over or I pull myself over from the headlight, but at this rate we're gonna be late. Truck looks custom, doesn't it? That couch looks custom. That couch looked like that one you picked up off Philpot Street over there. Man, that thing held up. I put a new uh, I put that uh had that one cover on it. Had that one spring that popped through. It'd wake you That's up, buddy. You see it. Say look at this. This is what Right next to him, and they think you're getting too close to them. They think, well, hell, just hit the brakes. And there's nowhere to pass this son of a gun either. Well, let's check it out outside where it counts. That's bright enough. Yeah, that's bright think? enough. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You put the, you put fresh juice in this puppy, you'll blow one off the limb. You're going to blow them off the limb anyways if you walk into there with that. Well, I don't ever walk through like this. Yeah. Oh God! Damn, it's cold. Ooh. Thirty degrees, boy. It was sixty-one when we got out of the truck yesterday. Let's get that off. How about a light? You want oh. me to cut the light off, and you want to? These video cameras don't do well without a light. Why are you videoing me? Because you. I have nothing to, to bring. This to is the way you make videos. Is you video people. People want to see you. They don't want to see me. They well, I'm the cameraman today, so. Unfortunately, they're stuck with you. There's, I mean, really? That's quite a compromise, I understand, but they'll deal with it. How's that builder bar? Pretty tasty. Is you got, it? You got one of them in breakfast? Huh? You take one of them builder bars. You can throw up. What do you put on the What do you put on the rack? About you squat about seven fifty now, something well, like after that. After you eat a builder bar? Yeah. Oh, you can put another plate on there after yeah. you eat a builder bar. Yeah. What do you think about John Isabel? I don't know who that is. Well, he's singing some soothing tunes. That's Jason. I don't know about John. Did I say John? Yeah. Reading stuff for me. A lot of things tough for you. Being nice is at the top of the list. <laughs> and that's the truth. We drove up in the mountains this morning. We're going to give it a whirl up here. Before work. It's gonna be a quick one. I mean, they're used to that. Don't no big deal.
Did you hear that one? I heard what you heard, but I couldn't tell you. That can't wait, what? Oh, Tur a turkey gobbled. Oh, okay. Oh, a turkey gobbled. Back toward the truck. I just heard that call on the back end. distant gobble off the limb. So we're gonna kind of drift that way slowly. Maybe you could throw in one of them ghost cacklers and choke one out of one of them. Take his temperature, as they say. Don't you see turkeys hanging out? Yeah, I can see one hanging in here with his tail feather hanging out. Get serious about it. That's a start. But you know if you lost one, you carry four or five hundred. Mm -hmm. I think I did. Got a hen moving, or not moving. I don't know if she's moving or not. I assume she's moving. I don't know how much time turkeys stand still. But she's cutting down here a little bit. Down on the bottom and up on the other side. She's a pretty good ways away, but she's cutting a little bit. That's two, two mornings in a row we've got a hen cutting. And what that tells me is those hens, and it's a single hen, last two mornings those hens might be moving off to nest and getting a little broody if 
fight later in the season when you, you'll get catch your single hens and they start to get broody when they start laying and start tending eggs and stuff. They're pretty territorial. My theory anyways is probably wrong. What y'all want me to say? Y'all tell me what y'all want me to say. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> It's uh, time to go hunting. It's gonna be a beautiful morning if I could, uh, if the weather forecast is right. I think it's gonna be a beautiful morning. Running solo today, but I did remember the tripod, so hopefully that's an improvement over the last time I ran solo, as far as video footage goes. Uh, but I tell you what I don't have is my external mic because Chubbs kept it yesterday. And he's in Oklahoma. So, he uh, flew out yesterday after our little morning rendezvous up in the woods where it was awful quiet. But he's over there trying to kill an Oklahoma gobbler because he's never killed an Oklahoma gobbler. And that is one of the handful of states he has left to complete his U.S. slam. So good luck to Chubbs this morning. They sent me a little clip last night of them roosting and it sounded like they had found a gaggle of them. A daggone gaggle. So hopefully they'll slip up under them and he'll uh, claim his prize this morning. I have no doubt them boys will pull it off. They got two and a half days over there in Oklahoma. And usually, from my experience, Oklahoma is a target-rich environment. So, hopefully, old Chubbs will spend some gunpowder this morning. Him and Shane both. He's uh, paired up with my buddy Shane, who just left here last uh, left here Wednesday. So, anyhow, hopefully, them boys will have a good time. But, anyways, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go right into a spot that I have not been to this year. It's uh, historically a great spot. Uh, I should be able to put my ears on a lot of turf and with it going to be a pretty morning, hopefully, even if we don't kill one, we'll find one. And that's half the battle. Maybe if I find one and we don't kill it, Talk Chubbs into coming over here and getting him one on video. Because I very seriously doubt he's going to carry that video camera. <laughs> Chubbs is shaking out to be quite the cameraless man. So, anyway, it's 46 degrees right now. That's about how I would draw it up if I was wanting a perfect morning to turkey hunt. Partly cloudy. We're not going to complain because tomorrow is Saturday. And guess what? It's going to rain like crazy. Got to the gate. We're the only ones here. Pretty quiet. I had to dodge log trucks on the way in here, though. They're obviously cutting timber up. Pretty sure it's on the other side, though. So hopefully it won't be too noisy <clears throat> when we can hear. But we got this butte. That's right. Me and that guy's fixing to hash things out here for a couple miles. And uh, get back in there a little way. See if it'll carry me back in there in a little more timely fashion. And most importantly, get me out in a little more timely fashion. Birds are starting to wake up. It should happen sometime soon. They don't gobble this morning. I don't have any excuses. <laughs> it is a bit cloudy. But man, it feels good. I'm trying to make my decision whether I want to stay back here on this high spot or if I want to move up about 500 yards where I think the turkeys are going to be. Knob up there, I know they like to roost on. If 
I was up there and be in a better position. And I'd put my ears a little bit more of the back of this watershed that goes up through here. But if I stay over here, I'd hear a little bit more of the watershed that goes back that way. Probably six or one half a dozen the other. Sure, I just heard a pack of goblins. I raised my binoculars. If it was a turkey gobble, he's right where I thought they should be. Man, he's down at that bottom. But right, I'm gonna move in on him. I'm gonna shut this thing off so I can cover some ground. I'll be back in a minute. myself out of start from up there. If I would have, I'd got to be in the house. I waited too long when I had to gobble again to make sure I'm not going to pop them. Second turkey has moved down. Dang it. The bird I initially went for, if it's him, I just heard gobble. He's moved off straight away from us pretty quickly. This bird to my right. I was telling you the birds like to roost on that I started to go sit on. He's right there. And I'm not too sure he hadn't come across the, come across the top and now he's got me pinched. There's no way of getting in from his side. 
screaming. Oh, okay. Can y'all hear that? I hope y'all can hear that. He's signing his death wish and I'm not over there to catch it. can't see me on the other side. And I'm gonna walk up right up here at the top and cast a call off the other side. I'd love to confirm that, that other bird flew down and went that way. Be valuable knowledge for the next time I'm in here to wrestle with him. bird back there I know exactly where to go to kill him if he stays there much longer he'll be in trouble So I didn't spook him on the way out. Let's hope he stays there. <laughs> I had two game plans besides the one that I had that I did. Both of them were kind of committing myself to one side or the other. And the one that I took kind of was the middle ground. That allowed me to put my ears on a little bit more. If I would have did either of the other two plans, he just gobbled again. If I did either, either of the other two plans, I'd have been in the house on one of those two turkeys. Oh man, but they're still there. That's a positive. The other one drifted back this way, but he had quit gobbling and it was a hen that picked me down here by him, but she was on the other side of the ridge from him and she started coming to me when I looped around. I don't know if I bumped her or not. I was more concerned about bumping the gobbler. But we're going to call back to the bicycle right here. Make sure he didn't drift it all the way up here toward this two track.
Dad, I can't kill him. <clears throat> Makes me just so mad. I'm gonna rip that pine tree out of the ground. God, I hate work. Well, that's just how it goes sometimes. Headed into work. That kind of stuff happens more than I like to admit. But it is what it is, as they say. Whatever that means. It's nice to be able to hunt before work, but man, I hate having to leave them gobbling like that. That turkey was, he was ready. <laughs>